go to uh, our programming tutorial uh, today I'll be running a tutorial on uh, uh, JavaScript uh, especially on uh, objects object oriented programming on JavaScript so let's not waste any time let's let's do this uh, let's do this program so I'm going to write a program I'm going to call this uh, object person call it person and I'm going to define the properties of this person I'm going to say edge I'll give 30 I'm going to define first name I'll give Kuku as a name I'm going to define last name and give him domain. All right. So these are the properties of this uh, object. So edge, face name, and last name. Now I'm going to define uh, the method for this. Now there's a I'm going to run this program in uh, two ways. One way I'm going to uh, scoop uh, run a scoop so writing uh, more than two objects in one uh, more than two method in one object so let me define first let me define this uh, uh, object here I'll define edge so I'll call this uh, method let me put a comment here and say first method of person object so this is the first method of the person object and I'm going to define this method as edge object. Okay, let me let me let me just write or edge, but it's an object. Or uh, for those who are new to uh, object, let me just write, say edge. Define it as an ob edge object. Yeah. Then define it as a function there. Then close it there. The calibers. All right. So we've defined our edge object there. Now we're going to define the first name object which is our second I'll put second let me just copy this put there. then I'll say second second method of person object there then I'll define it as a first name it's a first name object Face the method. Uh, this should be method. Okay, faith, faith. Okay, object. Object method is an object method is function 
then again there yeah. so we have our second method of a person object and I'm going to define the third one which is last name last name object function there okay let me just put a comment and let's say this is the third method of person object so first name the first edge uh, object method will hold this property edge and first name will hold first name a property and the last name will hold last name object property and uh, which each property holds these values that are included in the method object right now what is left now is to call this to call this uh, method we need to call this method so using console so console the plug now how you call method now we're going to call this method by name it's a person the person the name of this uh, um, object that's a person person dot the first object is edge object so say edge object that's all we need to do edge object and uh, copy this put there put there and then just change this is the first name this is the last name right so we've called our object there method I'll come here then let's return this now we need to print to the screen so return this edge That's it. So return this dot edge. So this will return. This will call this uh, method. Collect this uh, property and uh, show on the screen. So let me just let me run this. Okay. Um, return this dot edge. Okay. It's just giving me an error here. Just try to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, last name object. First, oh, this first name. First name object, last name object, yes. Okay, okay. All right. I think something. We missed that chord there. Okay. Ah, it's J, the object here. I need to close them. Uh, the method to just mention that these are the method. And this, so uh, you close them there. So that's what I was missing there. I need to close them. So need to close them, put some uh, braces there, um, color braces there, yeah, some uh, semicolon there. Okay, so we see it's giving us uh, our edge there. So we've we managed to call this method. Okay, let's call this uh, second method there. Uh, return there. Yeah. 
the stud first name. Then we call this again. Return this dot last name. All right. So we managed to call to create three method of person object calling the properties and displaying the values so just something let's just add some message there saying that age uh, first name And then last name. Okay. So we say first name, age, first name, last name. And then let's print this. It's showing us age, 30, first name, cuckoo, last name, dume. Right. So we've managed to do that. So we've created again three methods of class of um, a person object. So this is called a scoop. So writing more than three methods in a, an object. Now we can shorten this if we don't want to create. Uh, if we don't want, we don't want to create a three object of uh, this person. We just want one. Uh, we don't. Uh, if you don't want, we don't want. We don't want to create three methods of uh, a person object. We just need to, to create one. What we do is that we come here. We just get rid of all of this. Get rid of all of this. Yeah, till there. We just need one, and we close this. Is this since we just need one we we'll call this uh, method we we'll say person object since it will print everything in one method and then change again here say person object so I'm running mine on the MDN uh, MDN here uh, that's uh, easy. You can run in whatever uh, editor you like. So let's start here with the first name. Okay, first name. We'll call this first name. Then we add last name. First name, last name. And then we add age. Okay. Then when we print this, so I just add a space here. Okay, we have first name as Kuku, last name as Dume, age. Is the there so first name, first name, okay. last name there, and then edge there. Okay, so first name is Kuku, last name is Dume, and edge is they. Right, so we have all the information that so we've managed to create or to change our our um, uh, object only to contain one method and print the results of the uh, object person in one method called person object. 
Now let's just come here. And let's just go there. We need to print this in a very uh, good way. So this is our print so first so first name is Kuku, uh, last name is Dume, and the age is stay. So stay years old and then this 